Hi there. My name is Emily. I am a technical co-founder of Evidently AI. Many machine learning models finally reached production. Now we use those models to forecast the demand, to generate content recommendations, or to recognize someone in a photo. It is the very right moment to start talk about life after production. As we rely on those services, we need to ensure a great quality of machine learning models and stable production operations. To address exactly this, we built Evidently, an open-source Python package to help you build monitoring for machine learning models. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the main concepts of Evidently package. The idea is to help you generate the intuition of how you can use Evidently uh, to build monitoring for your data-related pipelines and machine learning models. I will start from metrics. When it comes to implementing monitoring, many of us start thinking about metrics. What is the ideal list of metrics? How exactly to calculate them? How to visualize those metrics to help data scientists quickly grasp what is really happening with machine learning models? We designed Evidently as the library of machine learning and data metrics. We implemented dozens of metrics so that you do not have to. Each metric not only contains the calculation results, but also very nice actionable visualization. It helps to interpret calculated results much better. We also want you to spend as few time building monitoring as possible. This is why we implemented metric presets. Metric presets are great combinations of metrics to assess specific steps of your pipelines. For instance, we have data stability preset to validate your feature engineering step, or we, or we have model quality preset to validate the quality after you finally got the ground truth. Both individual metrics and metric presets can be used separately or together in the report, the object we created to represent metric calculation results. In Evidently, you can get those reports in an HTML format, which looks like a very nice visual dashboard. It is a great way to review your data or model issues. And you can also get these uh, reports in JSON format or as a Python dictionary. This format works just nicely inside data-related pipelines and suits very nice for logging. When it comes to data pipeline testing, we often want not to generate the metrics, but also compare the results of those metrics against some threshold. The good news is we implemented tests as well. Together with metrics, we have many tests in our package. This means you do not have to write the code to compare metric calculation result against some thresholds, and you can just use these tests. In order to save you some time, we also created some test presets so you can start from the meaningful list of tests. For example, we have no target performance test preset, which helps you to evaluate model's quality even before you get the ground truth. All our tests and test presets have meaningful defaults, which helps you to start monitoring uh, your data and models straight away, straight away. Basically, you can use those defaults, you can specify test conditions manually, or you can feed reference datasets to Evidently so that we can learn all these test conditions from it. And of course, all of these conditions are customizable. Use the suit to combine test and test preset in order to get your perfect way to analyze your pipelines. To sum up, we have many metrics and metrics presets. Use it or build your custom metric to create and report. We also have tests and test presets. Use it, create your own test, use the defaults or specify all test conditions to get test suite. 